Hi everyone, it's trainer Mike from TXA, TradeX Academy. I'm here to show you a couple of potential short-term opportunities showing up in the market today. It is Friday, March 25th, and we've got a couple of alts that are starting to show signs that they may be ripe for entry. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Uh, it, there will be more coming in the future. We'll try to put out some more potential opportunities as we spot them and look forward to seeing more of you in the official TXA Discord. The link should be in the description below. Now, we have to keep in mind as we look at these alts, Bitcoin USD is pushing up inside of a local pattern. And if this starts to break down and head back down inside the pattern, this could shut these moves down really quick. But the flip side of that is if Bitcoin starts to eke up and break out of this area, our setups that are primed to go could really take off in a short period of time and provide us some great profit. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just here to show you some good risk to reward opportunities that I've seen as I've been analyzing the market this week. Here we have GRT, and you can see there's been a local downtrend all the way back to November that finally we just broke out of in the middle of March, March 15th. We broke out, we pulled back, and that gave us an excellent opportunity to measure some targets up above using our FIB extension tool. Now we also can see some excellent correlation between the last all-time high retracement FIB pulled all the way down to the potential bottom. Now we don't know for sure yet if this is a bottom because we need to get up over this 236 retracement FIB and find support to really say, yep, this is where we're turning around. But as traders, part of what we have to do is take calculated risks and put Ideally, we take those calculated risks right when we're starting to see something change. Now, we could be wrong and this could get shut down. So that's why it's really important we use our stop losses and protect our capital. But let's just take a look and analyze this um, a little bit more closely this morning. You can see here that GRT made a nice, strong 42% move, and then it pulled back about 15%, and it found some support at an important area. If you look to the left here, they found support on the way down, it broke, and now that they broke back above it, they found support again. That setup is potentially a pattern known as an inverse head and shoulders. It needs to break up above and really get going to, to confirm that that's what we're doing here, but it's, formed enough that we can see this potential opportunity. Now, one of the things that's exciting about this opportunity here is you've got a decent amount of space to hide behind. You could set up about a 25% or 30% stop loss here, and whatever you put on there, you could just let it ride until it hopefully sets up and goes to some of these targets. Of course, if the market breaks down, if Bitcoin says we're not done going down, and let's say next week Bitcoin takes a 20% hit, and this chart takes a more severe 30% hit, you would want to get out of the way. That's the purpose of the stop loss. The key is that if your stop loss is about 30%, or let's say a little bit uh, more aggressive, 25%, and I'm willing to risk no more than two to 5% of my total portfolio. You really don't wanna be risking more than that at any one given time, or you're going to be in for a bad time when the market turns on you. Let's say, for example, I had about $1,000 that I wanted to trade, and that's my entire trading capital in this example, and I'm willing to risk 2%. 2% of $1,000, right? And you can move your decimal over one place, $110 is only about $20. It's not a significant amount of money. But what it means is in the context of that setup, I could fit 20 bucks into this 25% pullback. My total position size, if that's one fourth, would be four times that $20 risk or $80. So I could throw 80 to $100 on this position, set my stop loss up, say I don't want to lose more than 20 and just wait. Now, the beauty of this setup is you've got about a 25% pullback to about a 70% and reasonably expect some kind of pullback there. 
But if the whole setup takes off and really does uh, the entire move, you've got a potential 300% there. So somewhere between 70 and 300%, you've got a nice range to find a, a way to pull your initial capital out and leave behind the rest of your trade risk free. Now, the exciting part about this trade as well is the Bitcoin side of the trade is really showing the chance that it could get going as well. And if the Bitcoin side of this trade sets up and goes, it's going to drive the USD side of this trade higher, faster and do it while Bitcoin is hopefully sitting still. Now you can see here, the big risk on this potential opportunity is the Bitcoin side breaks down back into this little channel of this pattern here that was going on and shuts the rest of the move down. So whatever you do, if you take a trade like this, you have to know ahead of time where your exits are and you have to be ready to get out of the way. But there is a potential risk to reward opportunity there. Now, the other one I've been looking at is OGN. This one has developed a little bit further, but this is an example of what you would hope to see um, your other trade potential trade setups like we were just looking at. This is what you would like to see them play out and do. So hopefully GRT can get going and find that kind of extension setup up above. This is kind of where GRT is now. And you can see if it makes that move, it could do it very quickly. And over here, they gave you a whole hundred percent. So OGN, while it's developed a little bit further, has some uh, more workable percentages in terms of risk to reward. This is one where you'd have to set your stop about 25% again to hide behind this level because you really don't want them going below this 236 of the extension after it's set up. But hiding behind there, you have a shot at 100% to the 1.618. Expect some kind of a retracement there, probably all the way back down to the one. And you've also got some higher targets up above for even greater percentages. So there's just a couple of risk to reward opportunities that are out there in the market right now. They could be really nice and take off really quickly. But again, it's really dependent on what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin USD is sitting right at the top of this local range area where we've rejected twice. And if we reject again to a significant percent and you're not already in a trade, that's when you start watching to see, are they going to find support on the next set of fibs down? And if so, that's a really uh, an even better risk to reward entry, because now you can kind of either put your stop further down the next lower fib level or you can have a tighter stop in a larger position to ride this out now whatever you do if you're going to go out and start taking positions again this is not financial advice but you don't generally want to enter your entire position right away especially when bitcoin is sitting up in the market because if you enter this and then bitcoin goes down that 10 12 percent you're going to have some regrets and you're going to be sitting upside down the majority of your position so one of the things that I do and that you can do if you want to try is you can set a third of your position in, wait for them to go to the next fib, get another third in, wait for them to go to the next fib, get another third in. And this is really where they need to stop for you. So if you can cost average in a couple of buys on the way down, find some kind of average in between those three levels, then you've got a little more flexibility in how much you want your stop loss to be, where you can more safely hide behind. And it gives you um, a slower entry into your position with more time to react to whatever Bitcoin is going to do. So that's it for this Friday morning. You've got OGN, you've got GRT, some potential opportunities. You can already see GRT finding a little bit of green there. So hopefully this holds for this morning and going into this weekend, it would be great to see some of these set up if you're willing to try some of these short term risk to reward opportunities. Thank you all and we will see you all around in the Discord channel.